Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout between Abus Magomedov versus Bruno Fiera. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence Abus Magomedov to beat Bruno Fiera. And um, I feel like really both of these guys got the same issue. It's not like, oh, um, Abus has a glass chin. Abus has poor takedown offense and no grappling skills. Or Bruno Fiera, he has... Zero striking, or he has this, he has that. I feel both of them, they really fall into the category of they both have pretty questionable gassing. That's really what it comes down to. You can say, oh, boost suck, or this is that. But, and I don't know what the odds, the odds might shift heavily to Bruno Fierro by the time the fight starts. But hey, it is what it is. Still a gamble, still this, still that. If he wins, he wins. If he loses, he loses. It is the day. You got to do your best to try to get the most winners and keep consistent. But hey, that's the game. But, um, yeah, it kind of they both kind of fall in the same category. You can look at this the fight and say, "Oh, Bruno Fierro won his last fight. He stopped him. Like you know, it was the first round. It was good. He stopped him." But I feel like the fight was definitely kind of heading away from him. He wasn't looking the best. He was getting taken down, and then he just kind of got like a big goofy. We got like a spinning back elbow that hurt his opponent and stopped him. Follow up and stopped him. But I feel like his fight was trending away from him, and I feel like he needed something big to happen. And he got that big thing to happen. But um. And also, a boost for the same opponent. He stopped in the first round with relative ease. With Bruno Fierro's struggle, he got a first round stop as well, but it was a big struggle. Kind of fluky, kind of goofy, spinning back up with this happened, land perfectly. And then he was able to finish them off. And a boost, like, again, if you, I feel like you're going to be a boost. I feel like you have to have a cardio pushing fight. Or, yeah, because he's decently strong through the first round, but you got to kind of break him down. And um, Bruno Fierro, he giving up size, he giving up length. He got a little short T-Rex arms. He got a little short baby legs. He got a lot of power, a lot of explosion. But I feel like a boost has, again, boost in the, like again, it's not, again, again, again. But um, they both. Let's just say it again. Both of them have questionable cardio. So it's not like oh, Bruno Fierro, he has the gas tank. He's gonna be to push him. Or what's the name? Has the gas tank? He'll be pushing. I would say a boost has a better chance to push him because a boost is the longer fighter. He's now he's going to be at a pot shot and just snipe a little midget that's coming with these big shots. Whereas, Cesar Fierro got a, no, what's the Cesar? Whereas Bruno Fierro got to explode and reach for everything he's doing. And I feel like, in my opinion, from what I've seen, I feel like a boost is the more technical striker. I feel like he's the more technical wrestler. So I feel like he could keep this fight on the feet and then he could use this length to pick apart uh, Bruno Fierro from distance. If Bruno Fierro already having a questionable gas tank, go ahead and spin all his energy to come in and he's going to be eating shots trying to come in. And I think Bruno Ferrer is going to get, he's going to be the one broken down. Neither of these guys have great gas tanks, but I feel like um, Bruno Ferrer's gas tank is going to be taxed much more because he's giving up a lot of limp. And he's going in with a better striker than him. And a guy who has the wrestling to be able to keep it on the feet and be able to take advantage of his height and length going in with this mini tank. And I think he breaks, um, I'm not going to say goes decision. Bruno Ferrer is pretty tough. I don't feel like a boost is such a killer. It's probably an ugly split decision. A lot of sloppy reaching, a lot of just giving them ugly takedowns. I, I see a sloppy fight back and forth, but I think the more consistent is going to be Abus using his length to pretty much snipe um, Bruno Fierro as he comes in. Bruno Fierro trying to go desperado for takedowns after, you know, blowing his wad in the first round, trying to reach and swing and overswing and just doing all his crazy sloppy strikes, but still finds a way for to make this fight a close, ugly split decision. But Abus gets it done, decision victory. So. In this one, I have a boost Magomedov via decision. 